Many Catholics, they are very particular and careful in observing the laws of the church, especially devout and good Catholics. All concerned about the application of the laws, liturgical law, whatever laws we have, and we spend hours debating on this, when the real matters that really should be the concern of every Catholic should be the poor, those who are suffering, those who are wounded. Have our people encountered God deeply, personally? We should be concerned that many of our Catholics, our young people are leaving the Church of the Confirmation. There are so many Catholics that have not been touched by the Lord. The work of evangelization. These are the things we should be concerned. But we are giving so much attention to all these other matters. Traditions, all these things are helpful. They are meant to help us to lift out our life of faith. Tradition and custom keep us focused in what we do. But they are not the most important things. They are meant to help us, to bring us closer to God, to a greater love for God, a greater love for our brothers and sisters. But if we just observe them externally, like the scribes and the Pharisees, all these external conduct will not change our hearts. So it's very important for us well, we should try to get everybody to observe all the rules of the church, even liturgical rules. What is even more important is to make sure that we have the right spirit and the right proportion. We must see the big picture and not just so focus on the tiny little picture and forgot the larger dimension of the mission of the church which is really about the good news, about how Jesus loves us, about forgiveness, justice, mercy, good faith. Uh, three criteria for us to measure whether we are truly living out our faith. You can practice all the laws. The question is, have you done the most important thing? Justice. Are you just towards your neighbor? Are you honest in life? Do you give dignity to your workers, to the helpers? Do you, you treat them? Are you harsh with them? Are you unreasonable? Are you honest with your dealings when you're doing business? Are you engaged in corruption, bribery? These are the more important questions. Justice. If you practice the laws but you don't have justice in your life, you are cheating, you are hurting people, you lack integrity in what you do, all the laws that you have done have gone to waste. A life of justice is fundamental. We have still not even gone to the next level. But first you have to do with the first level. Are you a just person? Those of you who are workers, are you just in the way you do your work, because you are paid for it. This is called justice. Minimum. If you have done justice, then there is another level you should go to. Mercy. Do you have mercy in your life? Compassion. Can you forgive? There are many of us who are supposedly devout Catholics, faithful to the laws, but we cannot forgive. We are intolerant. We are judgmental. We don't give them a second chance. We condemn them. That is totally unchristian. Jesus came for the prostitute, for the tax collectors. Jesus welcomes sinners. Jesus came for the sick, for the poor, the marginalized. This is mercy. The whole gospel is a gospel of mercy. So that's why I say you can practice all the laws and observe every liturgical law for that matter. But if you have no mercy and compassion, no charity, in other words, you have missed out the whole gospel. 
you have wasted all your efforts. What is our motive? Sometimes even observing the laws of the church so that people will say we are good Catholics? Do we give donations so that people say we are very generous? Or do we do it really out of love, out of charity? So it's the motivation that is important, having the right spirit. This is what we mean by good faith. And this is where we are called today to really examine ourselves. If we truly, truly love God and we have grown in love for our brothers and sisters, we have become more tolerant, more forgiving, more accepting of other people's weakness. We are more just in our relationship. We don't take advantage of people. Then we can truly say, yes, the laws that we have practiced, the laws that we have observed have helped us to become a better person. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray that we keep our focus so that we will always walk in the way of justice, mercy, and always having the right spirit in whatever we do.